dearest Taylor, Jeffrey, and Connor. Welcome to this beautiful place that embraces you all today as you embark on this journey of love, companionship, and adventure. You two have chosen each other in a world where there are so many choices and ways to go and things to do. It takes time, patience, and care for love to blossom into something more than just large gestures and sweet bits. This ceremony creates the vessel for your deeper love. It is your way of telling the world, I'm committing to this person like ever before. This is my best friend, my forever partner and it moves beyond our time together today, creating an ever-giving blessing to be shared with all of those you meet. There's just got to be some tension at the beginning of a love story. The gal who is steadfast in her commitment to leave, that is until she met this handsome stranger who swept her off her feet with an unforgettable lake day, a barbecue, and bowling. It wasn't long before you were spending every moment together you could, hiking, driving in the truck, watching those dirt bikes. Throughout all of this, you two navigated moving in together, working with Connor's schedule, and really getting to know each other with so much grace and understanding. It is a testament to your care and respect you both share. Jeffrey, when Taylor first met you, there was a certain silent confidence about you that immediately caught her attention. Your kind and respectful nature emanated out, leaving a lasting impression. Watching you interact with Connor, and what a good father you are, only deepened that attraction. Falling in love with you was effortless, and if it was meant to be, even though you were shy at first, it wasn't long <laughs> before you revealed your playful and compassionate side. After she was so used to fending for herself, having someone who genuinely cares like you do, supports her in every way imaginable has been life-changing. Prioritizing partnership is in your core, and Taylor feels incredibly lucky have found such a remarkable person to share it with. Y'all are gonna be best friends till you're 90 years old. <laughs> and Taylor, what initially drew you to Jeffrey was how down to earth you are. Your grounded nature resonated with him on a deep level. However, what truly made him fall in love with you was the entirety of who you are. Your kindness knows no bounds, always ready to lend a helping hand, and your innate ability to connect with children is remarkable. Your caring nature and dedication to helping others has had a profound impact on Jeffrey, and you have played a significant role in helping him cultivate patience. He admires your ability to prioritize, even when overwhelmed with tasks. You always make time for him and Connor. He absolutely loves coming home to new plants. He told me that he could see a new plant every day and be really happy. <laughs> right, Jeffrey? <laughs> but what truly touched his heart the most was how effortlessly you embraced Connor, taking the time to truly know him, see him and provide him with the love and care he needed. Your genuine love and compassion are truly awe-inspiring. <laughs> You're so beautiful. brought so much joy to my life and I am thankful that you love me as I am. Jeffrey, you have brought such joy to my life. Today I vow to be your faithful husband. Today I vow to be your faithful wife. I choose to live with you as your lover, companion, and friend. Loving you when life is peaceful and when it is painful. During our successes and during our failures. Supported by your strengths and accepting your weaknesses. <laughs> I will honor your goals and dreams, trying always to encourage rather than hinder. I will strive to be honest and open, sharing my thoughts and my life with you. I promise to love and cherish you from this day forward. I'm all yours and you're all mine. I love you. I'm all yours and you're all mine. Connor, today is more than your dad and I becoming husband and wife. It is a day to celebrate our commitment to being a family that is built on love and respect for one another. I want to promise you that you will always have those things for me. I love you as my own and I will respect you for who you are throughout the years that have to come. I will be here to help you in all the ways I can and I will be quick to remind you of how smart, creative, strong, and caring you are. I promise to only burn the popcorn and taco shells every now and then. 
<laughs> know that you can depend on me to be here through all the good and hard times. I love you and I'm so thankful to be a part of your life. I love you. I love you. May your lives together be an endless exploration filled with joy, discovery, and a profound appreciation for the beauty of nature that I know you both have and the wonders of love. I deeply wish that you were able to find the most perfect plot of land with either already a house on it that's perfect or you build your perfect home, <laughs> that you're able to grow your family and go on all these fun and adventurous trips together to see the world, explore. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. With all of this, it is my greatest pleasure and pride <laughs> to pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> we're married. We're married. <laughs>